If you are an adult man aged 18 and over and you cannot walk up to a group of people and in general make them like you, there's a major problem. Could be men, women, mixed groups, nightclubs, business setting, family reunion, whatever it is. If you in general don't have the confidence, the courage, the social skills to walk up to a group of complete strangers and create a dynamic where you talk, they listen, they respect what you have to say, and in general, most of the time, it's clear that they're pleased that you came and approached them and they prefer, now that you're talking to them, they prefer that you would stay rather than you would leave. If you can't do this, there's a problem. This channel is about succeeding with women, building a rock star dating life through using online methods. I've talked about this ad nauseum. Online is the best. It's infinitely scalable. You can do insane volume. You can outsource the entire thing. You can hire a virtual assistant. You can hire us and our team. We do that. That's my main business. Uh, Myron Gaines is a client uh, from Fresh and Fit Podcast. This is my main business. But if you can't show up in person on the dates that you're scheduling from online and be that charming, charismatic guy that can seduce women naturally through your vibe, it doesn't really matter how many dates you're setting up, you're just gonna drop the ball on all of them. I would say of all the transformations that I made in my life, you know, I used to be a tubby, overweight piece of crap, completely transformed my body to this this physical specimen that you see before you. I have learned two and a half languages. I speak Spanish basically fluently. My Portuguese is coming along. Learned new cultures, traveled, learned business, made a bunch of money, lost a bunch of money. I made a lot of, I've done a lot of journeys, a lot of self-development, a lot of work on myself. But I would say the single greatest journey that I've ever done was the cold approach pickup journey. When you do weights, you lift weights in the gym, you're releasing endorphins, you're putting stress on your body to make the physical muscle tissue in your body stronger because you put it under stress and you challenged it. You can do the same thing to your social skills by forcing yourself to approach strangers. Imagine the type of social skills that you would develop if, apart from how you felt, you felt a little blue that day, a little anxious, a little self-conscious, but you forced yourself to walk up to strangers and try to be charismatic and interesting and funny and create good vibes with them. And you force yourself to do this for a decade, like I did. Now I'm not saying a decade is necessary. I probably went off the went off the deep end with this. Some of my earliest mentors and friends in this whole journey are Todd V dating, old photo of us, RSD Tyler, aka Owen Cook, to this day, still a good friend of mine, sends me 12 minute audio messages on WhatsApp. Shout outs to Tyler, love you buddy. Owen, his real name. So I went off the deep end with this, but I would say as a prerequisite for a man, you know, let's start with the physical first. You have to have some semblance. Again, y'all put some shirtless photos of me. Don't don't roast me, guys. I don't I don't claim to have the world's greatest body or anything like that. But it, it's presentable. It's not embarrassing, right? And the same thing with your uh, finances. Again, you know. As long as you earn enough money where it's just not embarrassing, you can go out and, you know, um, do things with friends, you know, once in a while, things like that. You don't have to be, you know, the richest guy. You don't have to be the, the buffest guy. And same thing with your social skills. You don't have to do this for a decade. But that, that's kind of like the, the, the trifecta somewhat. You know, maybe there's there's more things, uh, you know, I would add on to this if I was more time to think. But I'm doing this off the top of the dome. But the kind of the, the trifecta as a man, the things you want to have in order are your finances, your physical health and your social life and your social skills. You can't have a good social life if you don't have good social skills. By default, 
people were somewhat forced to develop social skills. You went to work, you were in a social environment at work. You would then go to, anytime you wanted to be social, you had to leave your house and be around social people. There was no social media, which funny enough, is the act of being antisocial because you're in your house, you're not interacting with people. But back to what I was saying, if you can't walk up to a group of men, women, be charismatic, funny, charming, interesting, create good vibes with them, you're, you're in for, a, it's a train wreck. You, you haven't, in my mind, reached what I would define as a, as a man, a high value man, if you wanna throw out that uh, kind of buzzword. Case in point, right? Some of you guys may know that Fresh and Fit, Walter and Myron, not his real name, are good friends of mine. I've been on their show, I don't know, you know, in terms of like long form where I'm on there for a lot of times, maybe like, you know, four or five, six times where I'm on there for like, I, I pop in and out maybe closer to like 10, 15 times, who knows. Myron Gaines is a client. I've gained a shitload of other clients from being on the Fresh and Fit podcast. You know, there, there's videos that I've done that I appear in that have, I mean, they're going on like a million views. A million people have seen me because I am friends with Fresh and Fit and I gained their trust, I gained their friendship, we provide mutual value to each other and they have graciously let me on their platform. But what you guys may not know is how I met Fresh and Fit. How did I get the largest men's, you know, helping men, dating, finances, men, self-improvement in general, podcasters in the fucking universe to become good friends with me and let me on their platform? Well, I'll tell you the story. So once upon a time, I moved to Miami, uh, this is 2020. So I, I've been in and out of Columbia, Medellin, you guys know this, but I, I wanted to give the United States another try, so I figured, well, I'll go to the Latin America of the United States, which is Miami. It's basically Latin America within America, right? Or so I thought, it's actually really not, but that's a whole nother rant for another day. So I'm at this place called Lincoln Road, it's an outdoor strip mall, and I'm doing day game. I'm, I'm new in town, I don't know anybody there. I figure, hey, I'm just gonna get out of my house, be social, this is pre-pandemic, this is January of 2020, so like three months before you know the major shit storm happened, okay? So I'm doing day game, chasing girls down. Like there's a girl, oh, I'll go run up to her, chase her, game her, try to get her number, say what's up, introduce myself, but her, oh, there's another one. I'm just, you know, chasing girls on Lincoln with another buddy of mine, another uh, pickup artist, Austin Summers, another good friend of mine. That's a whole nother story how I met him, by the way. And then uh, Austin and I see this, like, we're, you know, we're chasing girls on Lincoln Road. We see this, like, smooth, well-dressed, cool-looking black dude with, like, the cutest dog ever. And that happens to be Walter. And then we're just like, hey, you! You right there. And Walter's like, well, like me? We're like, yes, you. We know what you're doing. You're out here on Lincoln Road. You got the cutest fucking dog you've ever seen. You got girls coming up to you. I mean, you know, we're out here chasing the girls, but you got, you got, you got, uh, you flipped the script. Rather than you chasing the girls, you got the girls coming to you because you got that, the world's cutest dog. Could you, uh, like, stand by us for a minute? <laughs> Whatever. And he starts laughing, and then we're like, you know, hey, man, what do you do? You know, hey, we're new in town, blah, 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 just chatting them up. And then, you know, uh, girls are coming over to pet the dog, and we're like, now this complete stranger, we're just like, you know, gaming girls, you know, it's like me, Austin, and Walter, we're all just, you know, gaming girls together, just instantly into like, you know, wingman mode. I just met this guy, but I'm like talking him up and, you know, whatever. Uh, I forget if we got some numbers or not irrelevant, but the main number I got that day was Walter's number. I said, hey man, I'm new in town, you seem like a cool guy, I don't know, maybe we'll go out, you know, to a bar, pick up some bitches, you know, who knows, you know, shoot me your number. He's like, all right, shot me his number. Long story short, we went out, picked up some girls together at a bar, and we just became cool, became friends. Uh, he became my roommate. Uh, we lived together for about two years in total, about six months into us living together. Uh, he met Myron, we actually met Myron at virtually the exact same time. They started the show together, and they were multimillionaires nine months after meeting each other and starting the show. And because I was there from day one, because I was a social, cool guy who put myself out there that had done a decade of cold approach and had developed the skill to walk up to strangers, make them like me, be interesting, be cool, be funny, tell cool stories, etc. I was able to make Walter like me. 
make him my roommate, make him my friend, have him let me on to his massive platform. Shout out again, if you guys watch this video, thank you so much for letting me on to your, your massive platform that you built. And now I've made tens of thousands of dollars from the clout that Fresh and Fit podcast has given me. And I don't wanna to speak too soon. There may be a future business partnership, a deal with Fresh and Fit that could really pay off big for both parties. That's not official yet. We're talking about that, not gonna go into that. But that could make me a millionaire. Just because I had the balls to be kind of goofy and silly and say, hey, you, I know what you're doing. Get over here with that cute dog. Ugh, like, let's pick up girls together, bro. Da -da -da. If I was the average loser, the average guy with no social skills, there's no way I would have been able to do that. So let's rewind. Quick, you know, life story of me. I found out about uh, a company called Real Social Dynamics in 2004. I was 16. I had uh, bitch tits, a, a gynecomastia. I was fat. Probably never talked to a girl my whole life. I was 16 years old. I thought this is the coolest thing I ever heard. There was a free audio that Real Social Dynamics, which is a, it's a pickup artist, dating, helping men develop social skills company. That's uh, my mentor, uh, Owen Cook, started this company. And with the free audio, it gave a lot of stuff, but the, the, the major click, the major transformation, which is something I alluded to earlier in the video, is that just like you can fucking suck at guitar or suck at basketball, but you can practice and become really good at those things, the same thing you can do with your social skills. Social skills with men, social skills with women. And the reason why I particularly like uh, building my social skills through cold approach is because this. Let's say you're setting up, you know, a date a week. You're going on these dates with, with women. You're, you're a good looking guy or, you know, you had me do your photos and, and we're texting girls for you and you're getting a whole bunch of success. <laughs> shout out, shameless plug, shout out to me. And you're, you're going to build your confidence by just going on a lot of dates for sure. For sure, just by going on a lot of one-on-one -on -one solates with women, you will build your confidence around about around women. Absolutely, you'll learn about female psychology, etc., how to how to attract them, how to seduce them. But the thing about cold approach is, let's say you're doing this at you know uh, a nightclub. Traditionally, cold approach. Oh, by the way, let me define that. Cold approach is just walking up to strangers that you don't know and talking to them. That's literally what a cold approach is. So, we, you know, I used to live in Vegas, go out, you know, seven nights a week doing this stuff. And the reason why I like cold approach is anything can happen. I was actually just talking to Myron about this. Um, you know, we, we think we work together, you know, as a, as a, as a, as wingman, as a pickup team. You know, the problem is he lives in Miami. I'm always in Latin America, but he's going to come down to Brazil pretty soon. We're really excited to, to game, you know, wing up together. And I was telling him about this. The reason why I like cold approach so much is it's a fucking roller coaster, dude. You could, you know, have some drunk, violent guy just try to fight you for no reason. You could pull off an organic threesome. You could be having the worst night of your life. You do one last approach on the street and end up taking a girl home with you, having an amazing uh, experience with her, right? You just never know what's gonna happen, but you, and another thing is you'll learn how to tool guys. You'll learn how to um, deal with aggressive guys, rude guys, and you'll be able to just hold your ground and just you know stare them dead in the eye and they know, oh shit, this motherfucker isn't backing down. This is not his first rodeo, right? I I can't remember the exact interaction. But I remember, you know, one time I was at uh, the Wharf Miami uh, at some like outdoor, I don't know, bar, social place. And yeah, I, I wish I could tell the story better. But yeah, basically, you know, the long story short, some guy just came into my came into my set, came into my group of girls. I was I think they're actually his girls that he brought, and just immediately started uh, to tool me, and I tooled him right back, and he just kind of like shuffled off and just like, oh, okay, this guy is not just the type to like, just let him be like verbally bullied, right? And what do you think? The girl was like, you know, somewhat interested, somewhat attracted to me before this guy came in and tried to, try to bully me, try to tool me basically. What do you think happened afterwards? After that, I made this guy just like shuffle off, you know, whatever. And I just, you know, completely stood my ground. <sighs> Attraction through the fucking roof, right? So, I mean, this can get you out of fights, get you out of violent situations when people see you have no fear in your eyes. Like I said, you can meet future business partners and stuff like I did with Fresh and Fit. You'll learn how to pick up and seduce women, of course. It'll naturally make you have a 
kind of a un infallible, uh, infallible confidence that'll carry into over area, other areas, such as public speaking. This rant I'm giving to the camera right now, there's no script. I'm just talking into a camera alone in a room. I haven't rehearsed this. My channel's starting to blow up. I just reached a thousand subscribers. My videos are starting to hit, you know, a thousand views uh, per video. I'm getting 40, 50, 60, 100 comments on my video sometimes. How am I able to do this? If I didn't spend a decade working on my social skills, or not stutter my words, absolutely fucking not. So you see this, you know, me and my friend were talking about, especially after, you know, post pandemic, we've all been locked in our fucking houses for the last two years. Literally, it, it was illegal to socialize, like actually against the law. You could go to jail for putting together a party, a social event. So social skills are at an all time low. So if you're watching this video, you're like, damn, yeah, uh, I really do need to improve my social skills. What can I do? Unfortunately, today, the quality of people you see in bars and nightclubs is the lowest it's ever been, unfortunately. Back in my day, you had to uh, be social. Uh, there was no social media. Actually, you had to like literally be social face to face to do social interaction. So I remember I told this story once. I'll make it real quick. I remember I was uh, making out with one of the most beautiful girls I've ever met in 2012 uh, at Supper Club Los Angeles in Hollywood. And I said, like, what are you doing here? Like, you're really a doctor? She like pulled out her badge. She's like, yeah, I'm a doctor. She had her cedar cyanide. She's like a famous hospital, you know, badge. I'm like, why are you dancing on tables and nightclubs, drinking, making out with guys at, at, at 2 a.m.? She's like, well, what else am I supposed to do? I, I have to meet a guy somehow, right? Like, what else should I do? But again, of course, today, this girl would be on Bumble. Um, very few high quality people are out, you know, at nightclubs late at night. So what I would do is this, right? I would find game friendly venues where the music is, isn't super loud like you know not one oak la not mr jones miami these bottle servicey super loud super hectic like hurricane nightclubs where everyone's drinking it's dark yada 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 right i would make it a point to dedicate yourself for the next two years find these kind of game friendly venues and well, yeah, like the music's not too loud. There's not like a clear hierarchy of like, this is the DJ and these are the promoter tables and these are the client tables. And this is like, the, just go to a place where you can like freely talk to girls. Don't put too much emphasis on the result. Don't think I have to pull, you know, a 7.5 or higher tonight or I'm gonna go home and feel miserable. You're there to sharpen the sword. My best results and the best results for my clients and I think any guy these days are going to come from online methods because they're infinitely scalable. Even if you're a five out of 10, you're a four out of 10, you boost yourself to 10,000 women. There's no such thing as a universal four out of 10. That four out of 10 is an eight out of 10, that is a nine out of 10. Uh, if you boost yourself and show yourself to enough women, uh, the content can speak volumes for you, you can outsource it. You're always gonna get your best results from online methods. But, like I said, if you can't you know, close on the dates because you're nervous, you don't have social skills, it's, it's not gonna benefit you. So learning cold approach is just a fucking fun journey you know it's tough it's like the gym or like riding a mountain bike uphill it's like maybe it's not pleasant necessarily during it but yet it's fulfilling and you feel great after you did it and you grew as a person it's like lifting weights for your social skills right so go out to these places you know for two years maybe you know two three nights a week don't drink don't stay out super late uh, don't put too much pressure on yourself to to force yourself to do this if you're like an early bird and you can't be out cool just do day game, you know, malls and stuff like that. Do what you can, do it here and there. Force yourself to do it. And again, don't put any emphasis on the actual results. The criteria for success is that oh, you were kind of nervous. You didn't know what you were going to say. You had every voice in your head saying, oh, she probably has a boyfriend or what if my mind goes blank? And what if, what if I stutter? What if I start talking really, really fast because I'm nervous? And you know, when I get really nervous, I, I, I talk really, really fast a lot of the time. Just fucking do it. You did it that's a win. And over time, you will fucking transform, bro. This will change your fucking life. Like I said, the benefits from this, you don't even realize. The superpower, and again, you know, I can't walk up to anybody on any day and make anybody like me, okay? I'm not, I'm not claiming that. I'm not, I'm not the, the best in the world. I'm not, I don't know, naturally the most charismatic, charismatic alpha male to ever like walk the fucking earth, okay? I have my 
my nervous moments, um, even being like live on Fresh and Fit, you know, in front of a camera. And I know what, like a million people are going to see this video, maybe 50,000 watching across all the platforms at once. I get a little bit stifled myself. But the funny thing is, imagine if I hadn't done cold approach, I probably couldn't even do it. I probably have a, I'd probably have a panic attack <laughs> on the air, right? So the same way you will see your body transform with clean diet and consistently lifting weights is the same way you will see your social skills transform over time by doing cold approach. Again, it's one of the greatest journeys I ever went through. It was spiritual, no homo. It was, you know, very, I don't know what's the word, very logical as well. Like there, there's tangible results you can see as I, as I can see, as I, as I said before, um, you know, fresh and fit of my friends, even, even guys like, you know, um, like I'm not friends friends with Andrew and Tristan Tate. I've gotten dinner with them a couple times. If I walked by them and said what's up to them, I'm sure they would probably remember me. I've hung out with them. They're like acquaintances through Fresh and Fit. But, you know, you know, Sterling Cooper, uh, or like I said, RSD, Tyler, Todd V dating. I have a pretty impressive Rolodex of famous people. And the reason why I, you know, I can, you know, call these guys up and, you know, we, we do content together. I've done content with Sneeko. I've done content with Sartol Shooter, which is Andrew Tate's head of security. The reason why I'm able to, to, you know, meet these guys is again, I have the social skills. If I meet someone, if I like the reason I have this like high value Rolodex of, of, you know, cool guys, content creators, you know, famous people, whatever, is because if I'm ever in the same room, if I just happen to be in the same room as these guys, it's generally assumed with you know a very high degree of certainty that I'm going to be able to make them like me, right? And again, I developed, like the first 15 years of my life was wasted playing video games alone in my room. If I had like one of the biggest regrets of my life, that would be it, right? I made up for that by going, you know, the polar opposite and basically living in nightclubs for the next 10 years, which I definitely don't recommend. You know, sharpen the sword, get to a base level of skill set. Every now and again, you're at the bank, you're at the restaurant, whatever. You see a cute girl, go talk to her. Don't put any emphasis on the results. It'll just kind of like, you know, you're practicing your improv skills, you're practicing being charismatic with strangers. And just develop this this skill set. It's it's kind of a lost art. Again, everything's becoming like, you know, in another 10, 20 years we're all going to live with fucking those stupid helmets and, and live in virtual reality worlds where, you know, I don't know, the more money you spend to build your avatar is, is, is now your, your new social status. God, it's a scary future. But <laughs> for the time being, just get out there, be social. I will put a link in the description of this video that I, I believe it's in the form of a Google Doc. It's like notes on everything that I learned, like technique wise in game, in cold approach pickup, in picking up girls, right? And you know, this, it, it's like an, an, I put it on some some pickup artist form. It like went viral. The admin stickied it. It got you know thousands and thousands of comments. It's I think it's one. I'm I'm biased, but I think it's one of the best um, works of art in the form of you know cold approach. You know, like teaching of cold approach. Uh, there's a lot of channels. You know, my buddy Austin Summers does a great job of teaching cold approach. If you can find uh, RSD Tyler's older videos, I think they even sell like some, you know, hot seat program or whatever, uh, buy it, integrate those principles, go out and you will see the fruits of your label. You will see how you transform and the benefits, like I said, you will learn how to tool guys, get out of violent situations, stand up to fucking rude people, uh, get more of what you want out of life, networking, and then of course, seducing women, right? That of course would be the bottom line. So that's all I got to say for today, guys. Again, you know, this channel is mostly about picking up women online, but I thought I would throw this in uh, there as well. Speaking of picking up women online, I have shameless plugged myself several times. I'll do it again. My main business is I run guys dating apps, meaning I log into their Hinge, their Bumble, and I chat and flirt with girls as if I was the client. So for like for Myron, like the girls think they're texting and chatting with Myron, but they're actually talking to me or an account manager. And then all Myron has to do is literally just show up on the date. We've done all the flirting, dealing with girls that randomly ghost you, etc. all the swiping, all the nonsense. 
uh, Myron's been banned on Hinge like three times now, you know, constantly making him new accounts, getting new phone numbers, etc., saving him a shitload of time. And we can do the same for you. We can also get you photos. So if you're not even getting matches right now, there's nothing to outsource because you're not even getting matches. We can fix that too. Um, I'll put some photos of my client, Steven. I'll just kind of have this thing scrolling through where you can see uh, the amazing photos we got for Steven. Steven's now crushing it because, you know, he looks interesting, high status, always doing fun stuff with friends, always in luxurious locations, which is value on social media. And yeah, the, the website is Redbeard Rants. If you want to reach out, contact me, book a call, coaching call, teach you how to throw amazing parties. That's something I do as well. Lastly, give me a follow on Instagram. My handle is just Redbeard Rants one. And that is the end of my rant for today, guys. Peace.